I think I found the real world's strongest man and I'm not being facetious in any way. I'm gonna give you all the numbers and you make up the decision for yourself. Feel free to guess in the comments who I'm talking about. Now I'll go over some of the people who you might think that I'm talking about, but I'm not. And this person you may have never heard of before. So Lasha, number one uh, Olympic weightlifter in the world, absolutely insane power, but he doesn't have the raw strength to win world's strongest man. Jesus Oliveiras, uh, who this, Jesus Oliveiras, apologies Jesus. Unbelievable IPF powerlifter, one of the strongest of all time, but I'm not talking about him either. I'm also not talking about Colton Engelbrecht, who just totaled 1120 in wraps, 11, 1,120 kilos. And I'm not talking about an NFL player like Aaron Donald. I'm talking about someone else, and this person is an Olympian. This is where I came across them. I was looking at different things that I thought maybe I could do for the Olympics, which we're going to put a video out soon of me seeing uh, how close I could be. But one person really caught my eye, and he caught my eye because he's also a rogue athlete. And I saw a video of him squatting, and I thought, this, this is not real. Uh, this can't be real. Maybe it's 45 pound, not 55 pound plate, something. But the more I look into it, the more that this is legit. This man's name is Joe Kovacs. Now, he just won the silver medal uh, in the Paris Olympics in the shot put. He's got the second best shot put throw of all time at 23.23 meters, which is basically... You take a 16-pound ball from the goal line of a football field and you throw that to the touchback line. Uh, another way of looking at this is you're on the sideline of a soccer field. You, instead of throwing the ball with two hands, you throw it with one. You go from virtually no weight and you multiply that weight of the soccer ball by 23 and a half. And with one hand, you throw it literally to the middle of the field. The amount of power is absurd. But what makes him particularly unique in terms of shot put is that he's only six foot tall and his closest competitor is six foot seven. And most shot putters are six foot seven. Of course, the taller you are, the less arc you have to have because you're, you're already starting from a higher spot so you can throw it more direct. It's a massive advantage. And that's a seven inch height difference, presumably a seven inch difference in wingspan, meaning Joe might actually throw the shot put about 35 centimeters further if he was also six foot seven. Now I always say he's not six foot seven and he does it, and if he had wings, he could fly. Uh, but it does give you some context of how strong this guy must be to be able to compete at this level. Now he's won the world championship twice. He's won Olympic silver medal three times. I'm sure he would love to get that gold before time is said and done. He's done uh, world championship silver three times. Uh, excuse me, two times, and he's been the Diamond League winner, which is the track and field world championships uh, twice. In effect, the world championships. Now let's get to his actual numbers, because of course, shot put is a skill, and all Olympic sports is a skill. This is why Lash is not the world's strongest man. If he tried to be, he, he probably wouldn't succeed or, or even come that close, to be honest. But let's look at some powerlifting numbers first. His squat, this is the first thing that caught my eye. Here's a video of him squatting 395 kilos or 870 pounds for four reps. Now, there's video footage of this. This would put his estimated one rep max at 439 kilos. Now, the current world number one in Jesus, because this is drug tested, so drug tested powerlifting, number one in the world record is 470 kilos. I should say current world number one. 470 kilos. So Joe would have to go from 439 to 968 all the way up to 1036. But in this video, he's doing high bar. He's in knee sleeves only. He's squatting to pretty good depth and it's not his sport. So he's damn close. He's, he's 31 kilos off the current number one in the squat. But shot putters, they've got another strength involved in powerlifting, which is of course bench press. You gotta be able to launch and throw with that power. And I couldn't believe this either. There's a video of him bench pressing 350 kilos for two reps. Now it is uh, not too powerlifting standard, of course, but it does come down, touch his chest, and he does press it up. His butt comes up off the bench a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna say if he went and he trained, he could hit this weight for a single. It didn't look like the hardest thing in the world, to be honest with you. Now the current world record for IPF powerlifting is 320 kilos. We're talking about 30 kilos on top of that. And Jesus, he benches 273 kilos or 601 pounds. So that is insane. You take the deadlift and the bench press together and he would be 46 kilos ahead going into deadlifts, meaning he would need to deadlift 365 pounds. 
or excuse me, 365 kilos or slightly over 800 pounds, something tells me a guy that powerful squatting, that powerful bench pressing, it must translate over. He must be able to do that. So he could be, in my opinion, the world IPF champion in, in about three or four weeks of training time, full stop. Now, this doesn't necessarily make you the world's strongest man because we have other events, but let's go through those. And, and let's talk about some parallels between what a shot putter might have to do and what a strongman might have to do. Now in strongman, we've got push, pull, overhead press, carry, hinge, and squat. His squat is great. His overhead pressing, it would have to be good, especially because in, in the shot put, when you actually pause that moment, they get this sort of twist and lean back. And that lean back is very similar. So I imagine overhead, he would be unbelievable. When it comes to deadlifting, we don't have any information. Um, he's built like a guy who could probably deadlift well, but really, really not sure. Uh, with grip, his hands, you look at a uh, shot putter's hands, they're, they're, they look like a big piece of steak. They're the, the fattest, meatiest hands ever. Sometimes this is a hindrance to grip. Um, now, let's just go over some other numbers that we do have. All right, so the overhead press. He has a video of him doing a behind the neck split jerk at 230 kilos. Now, World's Strongest Man in 2022, we did the Flintstone lift, which is effectively the exact same thing. And this would have put him fourth by a narrow margin. And this was just a training lift. If he peeked into it, something tells me 440, 445, somewhere around first, surely that that would be uh, somewhat reasonable. First squatting, 439 estimated one rep max squat. This is in sleeves, just sleeves and a belt. At the Arnold in 2022, this would have been the number one squat with the caveat being, you could have also wrapped your knees and you could have also worn a squat suit. Now, JF Carone won that event and he certainly had more in the tank, but I would back Joe. I would back Joe if he trained in a, in a suit with knee wraps, if he's squatting that much raw, I couldn't imagine what that number would be with wraps in a suit. Certainly, I believe, in excess of 500 kilos. When it comes to moving events, if you look at the agility and the speed and the power required to get your body from one side of the ring to another, there's no question to me that he could, he could move with implements really well. Someone who squats that heavy could also carry a yoke on their back, no problem. Um, if when it comes to something like a sandbag, a bench press that heavy, the squeezing power, he would be fine. The only question would be, could he do work for 45 to 60 seconds at a time? And yes, he can. There's videos of him doing it. He's done sets of 10 squats at uh, 700 plus pounds. Now, a lot of footage that I'm talking about is squat related, bench press related, because these are the stuff that he trains because it's relative to his sport. When it comes to grip related events, like I said, with the hands, the, the, like a big pad of meat, like a big meat filet, I'm thinking that it, it, it shortens your fingers. The thicker your palm is, the shorter your fingers get when you go to wrap them around a bar. And that makes it harder, inherently. So this, I, I, I'm not sure. Guys built like him, six foot tall, he's only 300 pounds, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, usually, they, their, their hands being fatter is gonna be harder to grip things, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did have a very competent grip. When it comes to truck pull, we've got the bonus of very strong arms, very strong legs, and the downside of uh, low body weight relative to the average strongman. That being said, lighter truck pulls, uh, Alexei Novikov won the truck pull at Worlds in 2022, and he would be somewhere around the same weight uh, and height as Joe. Uh, deadlift, like I said, question mark. Anytime a throwing event comes into place, Joe would win. So what are we left with? We're left with Atlas Stones as a staple event. I don't know. Usually the extension is harder than the pick. I think if he got his tacky right, something tells me he could pick a heavy stone and certainly he could front squat that, no problem. Uh, and that's strong, man. I mean, I think if Joe trained for six months to learn some of the implements, learn the technique, all of the foundation is there for him to win World's Strongest Man. I've said this about other people in the past. I've talked about Ronnie Coleman back in the day. It's possible that he could have won World's Strongest Man. If you want to check that video out, pop it up there. But that was with the caveat that Ronnie would have some time to train for strongmen, that he actually focused on that for a reasonable period of time. I've also looked at Tom Haviland, and could Tom Haviland win World's Strongest Man? Uh, my conclusion on that one was, was probably not, although it's very convincing based on some of the stuff that he does. Now, Joe... Uh, this is my most solid current, yes, this guy could come in and he could 
take my title. I pride myself on self-assessments, for sure. And I for sure believe that that would be a battle of the ages. And this is a welcome with open arms. If Joe wants to come into Strongman, if he wants to give it a crack, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm sure we could get you into somewhere uh, fun. I'm sure we could get you into somewhere pretty cool. And uh, I'd be more than happy to show you the ropes because in the end, more people in Strongman makes our world better. And someone of that level of, of athleticism, that level of strength, uh, to have someone like that in the sport is always a privilege. I always say, I want to compete against the best in the world, and often I do. This weekend, I'm competing against Half Thor Bjornsson, Tom Stoltman, some absolute giants in the sport. But after coming across Joe, something tells me that there might be some people out there who we should encourage to come over. You're allowed to run around. You're allowed to be an athlete. We th we're, we're doing throw for max height. We're doing... Uh, we're doing squat for reps at 360 kilos or 800 pounds. All of these things, I'm looking, I'm thinking, Joe would have me on a handful. I would love to know your guys' thoughts. And what would you be skeptical of for Joe to be able to perform? And what other athletes in the world do you think could win World's Strongest Man if they did turn up and they did give it your crack? And I would also love to know the opposite. What sports do you think, Strongman, what sports do you think I could go professional in? I was throwing the shot put the other day. I'm not going to share my results. I'll share it later. Uh, but NFL, possible. Rugby, possible. Uh, potentially, we could get some sort of tryout going with one of those teams, which I would absolutely love, and I would eat that up. But throw that in the comments as well. If you'd like to support the channel, the merch and the programs are the best way to do that. That's in the pinned comments. If you're looking to train and get the most from your training, or you're looking to join a community with Lift Heavy Be Kinds and show people that the gym is a welcome place for everyone, Joe Kovacs included, that is the, the, the number one place to go. So please go ahead and do that. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please hit that subscribe button. We are growing incredibly fast. It costs you nothing and helps us immensely. As per usual, lift heavy, be kind, and we'll catch you tomorrow.